Hey Jazz, what's the value? Do you think a property? Bleh, that's all. <laughs> Jazz, what's the value of my property? Is it overvalued or undervalued? <laughs> Welcome to overvalued or undervalued, where we talk about Andre nodding his head because he didn't like it. <laughs> Welcome to overvalued or undervalued, the place where you find out what I think about certain values of properties. <laughs> Okay, so the first one is about vacation properties. Think cottages, country properties, and chalets. Okay, um, other than the fact that I love Swiss chalet, um, in terms of vacation properties, I think they're... <laughs> I like that. I like Swiss chalet. <laughs> You're so fat. <laughs> you are so fat. I know. I love Swiss chalet. Uh, I actually think that vacation properties are, right now, at the time of this recording, are overvalued. Why? Because... Look, it takes a lot of maintenance. It takes a lot of work to upkeep these properties, to rent them out. Somebody leaves after like a week or two weeks, like you mentioned cottages and chalets, Laura. Um, you got to turn them over. There's a lot of maintenance involved. Also, once we like, once everything opens up again, I'm not sure if people are going to want to just go on vacation, like out, out, to the cottage. I think people are going to want to get the heck out of the country, go to the other side of the world. And so in terms of vacation properties, I just think they're overvalued right now. Um, a lot of work, overvalued. Condos in a highly populated city center. I'm going to talk specifically about, about uh, Toronto, okay? Downtown Toronto, my answer to you is that condos are undervalued. Why? Because we are seeing prices discounted by about 6 to 8%, okay, right now. Look, real estate's on sale in downtown Toronto for condos. And so it's undervalued. There's not a, not a lot of people are actually looking for condos in downtown Toronto. Hence why we're in a buyer's market. There's more condos available than there are actually people looking for them. 100% undervalued. If you want to actually make money in the short term right now, I would go invest into a, a condo in downtown Toronto or whatever, like, high populated area, Manhattan, for example, values have come down. That's why it's undervalued. Airbnb investment properties. Airbnb, I think they're properly valued. Let me tell you why I say that, because right now you cannot Airbnb properties, okay? Because you can't have certain, you can't have more than a certain amount of people in a home. However, there's a lot of people that are not looking at Air, Airbnb. So, you know, when I talk about downtown Toronto condos, it's very similar in that sense. Not a lot of people looking. There's, in my opinion, they're properly valued. Obviously depends on which area you're looking, but in the greater Toronto area, I would say Airbnbs are properly valued. You're gonna like this one. Homes in the burbs. Homes in the burbs. I live in the burb, uh, burbs right now um, and, and, and help a lot of clients um, uh, find homes in the suburbs, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say right now that they're overvalued. We just had a property, um, in the burbs here in Brampton listed for, um, listed for eight ninety nine. Now asking price is irrelevant. Okay. Even if it was listed for a dollar, it really wouldn't have mattered, but I know people like to hear this listed for eight ninety nine, sold for 1.3, sold for 1.3 million. How do I know it's overvalued? Because if you look at what like other homes sold for, they were selling for about 1.2 million. So in my opinion, that home, someone paid a hundred thousand dollars more than the comparables in the area. You have a lot of people who are leaving the city to get more space because they were scared of COVID or they just wanted extra space because during the lockdown, we they noticed that the, the home was too small for them. They didn't need to be downtown because they didn't need to go to the office. Um, so they were willing to move further out. And as people, more people moved further out, there's less inventory, basic supply and demand. A lot of people looking for homes, not a lot of homes on the market, drives prices up. And now, right now, they're overvalued in my opinion. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Tell us what you guys thought. Tell me if you agreed with each of those overvalued properties that we spoke about. Let me know in the comments. Maybe you're watching this in the stories. Press the yes, the overvalue button or the undervalue button. Let us know. 
And next week, we're going to come up with a different show. It's just who we are. We like to have a lot of fun around here. Elto, Dre Dre, Steven, Juju, Luker. We all like to have a lot of fun. Let us know what you think.